<laughs> Why is this taking so long to get ready? Oh, there we go. Oh, we uh, we are live. So, uh, welcome to race th race thirteen of the uh, Monkey Wrench Images Cup Series season and the third race of the playoffs. And uh, because YouTube are a bunch of idiots, and I have to make sure this isn't kid friendly. Fuck you, Kappa. There we go. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I have it set to. Yeah, whatever. We will figure it out. Mm -hmm. Um. There we go. I like that comment. That was funny. So, uh, let's get qualifying started here. Let's see. I am joined by a uh, fellow playoff driver and uh, driver. winner at Zen Joltis, uh, Noah Bridger. Howdy. He has not had the greatest of playoffs, but it's not. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You've what? got to be kidding me. You're on pole. Huh. <laughs> what? I don't look who's not. Wait, 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 whoa. How many polls do I have now? One. Oh. I find that funny. I swear, something good happens to you every time you commentate. Yes. First time you commentated, you got you got the win. Now you got the poll. This is ridiculous. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Let's man, see if, I, man, if I had if I had this luck when I commentated, I'd be leading the championship by like three hundred points. Every driver except Tower is in the top ten. Drivers to your car. Are you wait? Nick is Nick is sixth. Autumn is ninth. Autumn's You're ninth. right, and <laughs> Tyler's thirteenth. All right, so your playoff <laughs> drivers. Noah Bridger first, Logan Morris second, Rick, uh, Ricky Lafleur third, Taco Smith fourth, Samuel Crayer eighth, Apollo Lee tenth, Dwayne Greaves eleventh, Sam Dolmet fourteenth, points leader Eli Mack fifteenth, um, Reed Martaz twenty second, Luis Ramirez twenty eighth, uh, Mandy Julian Strickland thirty second, Manny Ranal thirty third. Ethan Conroy, 35th. Abel Aguilar, 38th. And Brian Rich, 42nd. Hmm. Brian Rich is out of rough playoffs. Yeah. I, so has Noah Bridger as well. I have. You have had the roughest playoffs. So we are ready to get this started at Tennessee Super Speedway. Four Toyotas in the top five. That is ridiculous. Three. Three. Four in the top six. I'm going to do this. So we are about... Oh, Anthony LaCroix has a mechanical issue. He had a great race last race, but he, I don't think he's going to repeat it today. And we are... Green at and he's Tennessee. Right side, and away we go great start for Tennessee. Great start for Taco Smith. Not as much for Noah Bridger. Looks like Logan Morris might lead him into the first corner. Uh, looks like Noah Bridger is going to hold the inside line though, which is good for him. And it looks like he oh, will look hold the lead. It's getting a bit dicey yep. back there already. Anthony Lacour is still on pit road, and Noah Bridger oh. it looks like he is going to hold the lead through turn one. But now we've got Ricky LaFleur going to the inside here. He's got a push from Eric Birch. That's always dangerous, being anywhere around Eric Birch. Yep, and a couple of my teammates are behind him as well. Logan Morris goes outside, and it's not going to work out for him. Nick Smallwood slipping back through the pack as well. Noah Bridger falling back a little bit. Now it's Ricky LaFleur leading the middle line. Is oh, that wow, that is leading? that is looking very sketchy right there. 24 and the 9 Eric getting Birch very close. Here comes the nine Eric Birch seven. taking the lead. 
Autumn Bridger's looking to take the lead. I'm going the wrong direction, whatever. And it looks like Eric Birch led that lap. That is Power unbelievable. To give Birch a push. Oh, well, they got a wreck. Looks like it was Satok, maybe? I think Ramirez might have gotten taken out in that. It was, R Ramirez was involved. That's two playoff drivers involved in that. Let's see how it started. Did they just get, whoa, there was more than one driver involved. That is. More than what we saw. <laughs> so it looks like the 37 just comes down on the 79. 26 had the... nowhere to go. 23 had nowhere to go. Looks like the 39 was not involved. Neither was the two. Yeah, 39 was not involved. See just nowhere for there. nowhere for those two guys to go there. Yeah, 23 and the 26 just had nowhere to go. Looks like the 23 didn't get it quite as bad as the other guys, though. Looks like he just got a little bit of a hit from the 79 and a little bit of a head on, hit on the wall. You should be good to carry on with some damage. Let's see. And Autumn Bridger will be lead. Well, uh, no, I don't think she is. That was weird. I just jumped to the live feed. Uh, Noah Bridger has plummeted down the field to 29th. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. Well, he might be able to get back up there in time. This is a, still a very interesting race. 40 laps. Yep. Reed, Mar Reed Martaz had an issue. I don't think he was involved in that wreck, so what happened? Did he... There was did he wreck it? Was pro he wrecked with oh, other see, people. There, there was more people involved in this accident. There was no, this was a accident. separate accident. A Looks separate like the 33 accident. hooked the 74. 16 was involved. 46, this horrible season continues. Oh, it looks like he got through it pretty well, though. 24 <laughs> brushes got... the wall. 74 gets a bit of damage. 16 is wrecked. By. 74 is wrecked. 39 avoids this one as well. The five has had a mechanical fail. No, they, they got involved in a wreck too. What happened? Why are so many people getting involved in stupid wrecks? Oh my god, there was a wreck in, wreck in the lead pack. That's a penalty for the 71. That is a penalty for the 71 right there. Oh, and that one, I want to see. Oh, let's watch. Uh, no. Nah. What's the one? That in... one. I, I think. He was involved. He got. I think he might have gotten a small tap. Yeah, he got a small tap. He should be able to continue. Uh, no, he actually didn't Ooh, get hit at all. That was very close. They were going at pace speed, so uh, they wouldn't have been badly damaged anyways. You never know. But, yeah, that is absolutely a penalty for the 71. That is just reckless. I'm not sure what he was doing there. Everybody coming to pit well, road here. As sometimes expected. Sometimes gotta catch up, and uh, unfortunately... And his day will definitely be done. He is absolutely done for the day, as is the 5 for sure. The 44 and 79 are out. For both a mechanical uh, engine issue. I am not sure why the 71's not even listed. Wait, oh, wait. the 5 is out. The 71 is literally not even listed on the entry list. Because he... Not sure. Okay, then. Wait. Hmm. That's very interesting. Absolutely a massive points penalty incoming for the 71 here. You just can't do that. Yeah, I know. How oh, I the 16 like I is out. The four oh okay. 40 looks a little slow coming out of pit road, but everyone's getting back up to speed. Looks like your current leader is the 41 of uh <sighs> Oh, yeah, no, not Alpha the Woodrow. Is uh, Ray Colorado. 16 is out, yeah. Yeah, there, with all the damage he had, he was going to be retired. Yeah, he got it pretty bad. Is that it? Is that all the cars retiring from that accident? There must be more. How many cars got wrecked in that? There must have There were a there lot. There were several. The 23 was involved in one. 23 had minor damage. 24 had minor damage. I'm, the 04, 27, 74, 26, and 37 all had major damage. We've got to watch out for those two the two in the bags, the 26 and the uh, 37. They might be off pace and most likely will probably be lap cars, but we never know.
So only four cars retiring from all three of those accidents. That is ridiculous. Actually, five if you include the 71, who is very obviously out. Yep, you done. Yep. So let's just accelerate back to where we're going green. And we're going to get ready to go back green. Lights are off on the pace car. This is a very long pace lap. I for forgot. There we go. So that is going to be a massive points penalty incoming for the 71 for wrecking a playoff driver. And also, whatever the hell he was doing there. Sometimes you got to think. And he, unfortunately, some drivers right, so you got to pay Brian Rich has moved up to second. He definitely stayed out because he was right at the back. He's your top playoff driver at the moment. And we, we are back, back green. green here at Tennessee. Oh, yeah, you can see already that the 37 is way, way, way off pace. Same with the 26. I don't know the how the 40 and the 80 are back there. The 27 and 23 are going to be interesting to see because they're playoff drivers. Uh oh, looks like the 23 has more damage than he's letting on. Yeah. He hasn't had a good couple races either. No, he's had a great couple races. He's third in the standings right now. Oh. Uh, didn't he wreck at Talladega? Sorry. <laughs> anyway. He does look a little off pace, though. He is far off pace. Not as bad as the, uh... Whoa. Hmm. 96 of hmm. Smallwood has gotten his way up to the lead. And looks like his teammate, Grimes, is going to push him. Yep. Behind him is the 48, I believe, of Mac. Yeah. Yep. And Autumn Bridger. That is your he points leader right there in the, the 48. Inside. Where is this competition? The 39. The 39 is nowhere to be found. He's all the way back Sometimes in 28th. He's going on the outside. He's and here's your pack of damaged there. cars. The 74, 27, 04, 26, and 24. 23 is likely not going to have a good race today. He might have to be pulled off track because I don't think he might. There might be a minimum speed thing that he'll have to meet. Uh, no, there's no minimum speed in NR. Dang. If there was, he definitely would be pulled off track, though. Oh, 93 and 96 bumping together a little bit. 93 almost 96 spun off the front of the 96. The line. Seven of Siegfried is winning, is leading right now. He won last race, actually. There's a, mm -hmm. there's a playoff driver there in the 17 being pushed by the 28 of uh, Harry Dolmet. And the 98 will take the lead. Yep, 98 does take the lead. That is Dan Neller. He received a penalty last race. He, he received a penalty last race for impacting the result as a lap car. Uh, does not seem to be off pace today, though. Nope. Oh, yeah. These guys are running incredibly slow. This will ruin the pack eventually unless there's a way this pack gets past them. The Woodrow is, is nine seconds field. off pace, and uh, Greaves has taken the lead here. It's good for him. He's had a yeah. decent playoffs, nothing spectacular so far. He's got Abel Aguilar behind him, who's had a pretty good playoffs. Next playoff driver in line is the 91 of Morris, who's had a decent playoffs. And uh, now I can't tell what's going on. They got the 46 of DeCosta up there. 72 of Michael might be giving a bit of a help, a bit of help to his teammate in the 17. There's your pulse hitter Noah Bridger right in the middle of the pack. And uh, that's like I'm five wide this. back there. That is... I'm watching those cars. They were very close when they were three wide, the 93 and the other couple cars. They were very close together, side by side. All right, this... Weird... The 23 Weird is eight death. seconds off pace. The 37 is nine off pace. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're definitely going to have some lap traffic soon, and that might will might, might, we'll most likely mess up the pack. Yeah. Oh, 39's worked his way up to third in line on the inside. 
He was nowhere at the begin at the after the restart. Has anybody fallen off the pack? It doesn't look like they have, other than the damaged cars. Ah, oh, looks this like the ninety six. Uh, like... They're damaged as well. The nine has fallen off the pack. I don't think they were damaged. Which is unfortunate because that's another one of the RMS playoff drivers. Two of them not having Taco a great race Smith today. From the back. Ooh, He's Taco Smith going to take the lead. Here comes Conroy to take the lead. He was 28th on the restart, and now he's taking the lead. That's what happens at Super Speedways. Unbelievable. And that 96 has that popped back inside up. inside line is really strong today. 17 has fallen way to the back of the pack. So is his teammate at the 72. But uh, 96, Ethan Conroy leads second. this lap. Question is, where are the lap cars? 37. If you go on board the uh, 39, you, you can't see them yet, but I don't think they're too far in the distance. Ooh, 96 going to the inside. He's going to try to take the lead. He's got Ferrer behind Smallwood. him. Hunter third in line. But uh, there's the AWR car of Nick Smallwood trying to take the lead from the RMS car of Ethan Conroy. And I have the wrong camera view. If he goes to the inside, because remember, if you go on the outside, you will. Oh. And he will. And uh, John Hunter takes the lead now. He has not had the greatest of seasons. He's being pushed by the twenty-two of Dar the, the twelve of Darren Dalton. Sorry, I don't know how to read. Apparently, ninety-eight of Dan Nellis still trying to work his way through the field. He is sitting third at fourth at the moment. I still don't know how to count. Um, many cars wide back in the pack as Conroy has plummeted through the field. Greaves is working his way back up. That is. One, two, three, four, five, maybe even six wide in there. Oh, 72, whoa, 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 whoa. 72 just blew up, I think. That is an engine failure for the for the RMS crew. Second in two races. I thought there was going to be a wreck as well. But uh, no, just an engine failure for the team that has had reliability issues all season. Because that one and another car was very close together. They're getting very close together in this race. Yeah, this definitely screwed up the pack a little bit. Quite a bit, actually. Yeah, the 40 fell off a little bit. Several cars fell off. And there's the off-pace machine. The good news is they have enough cars back here to catch back up, most likely. Most likely. If they line up on the inside. They're not. But once they collect these four, they should be able to. The 91, 39, 40, and 68. Yeah, because there's not many cars in that front pack, now. Yeah. They lost a lot of them. And uh, that is one of your lap cars. That is the uh, 37 of Woodrow. Ramirez is a little bit further ahead. And that is Michael's yeah, day like we done. Yeah, it looked like a... It Definitely looked, looked like, like a, a pretty problem. catastrophic engine failure there. Thankfully, they got off on the apron and yep. didn't cause a wreck. Yep. Oh, Tyler Grimes going for the lead on Eli Mack. Eli Mack is going to run straight into the back of his teammate. And the 37 is blocking up both of those two lines right there. 95, 22, 12. The and 8, the 40 95. Caught back up with the field. 40 has caught back up to the pack. In fact, that's going to give a the great opportunity for this whole well. pack to catch back up. Dwayne Greaves, Taco Smith. Can the these one? guys catch back up? Are they going to get blocked by Woodrow? Doesn't look like they are. And it looks like they probably will catch back up to the pack. It does look like Except it. for maybe the 85 of Aguilar. Yeah, it looks yeah, like the looks 85 like... might be kind of screwed. And I don't think we're too far from the 23 of Ramirez either. That 90, the 93 of Grimes is still leading? Ooh, yeah, 17 has fallen way to the back of this pack. Could also be being smart. Oh, 46 there. has an issue. And we got a wreck. Whoa, whoa, wreck. Taco Smith involved. The 14 involved in the wall. 46 had a major mechanical issue, I think. Because he just slowed pretty suddenly, and that is the caution out. Let's see what happened there. That is one of the strangest wrecks I have ever seen. I want to see... He's you know, going 127. Well. He definitely... Tire failure? 
I don't know. He definitely slowed. Engine failure of some kind? 12 barely nice. avoids it. The 80 gets hit. 14 is involved. 2 the barely two gets clipped. Saved it. 17 avoids it. 84! That's another playoff driver who's involved in a wreck. He's in the wall. Pretty hard in the I, wall as well. Let's see. I kind of want to... Uh, wow. I don't know what happened there. I kind of want to see what happened what, what, what the 80 saw. Because that was very interesting. That was very odd. Look on this onboard here. Good idea. That is one of the more odd wrecks I've seen in this game. Uh, I'd, I'd say the 12 probably has a better view of it. So, uh... It's running along normally, and... That 46 just dropped all the way back. Oh, whoa. My I don't know goodness. what he was doing there. Uh, he's definitely got a mechanical issue, though. He's still running. Yeah, he's heading to the pits, though, likely to retire. Most likely. This gets the Looks like the 97 of Bridger is the leader right now. That's very interesting. Conroy Brian's has worked his way back. up to sixth. AWR has been very strong today. Yeah, they have. Did they have any cars involved in those early wrecks? Nope. You're right, they did not. And the 97, they've all been up front. 97, 93. Yeah, 97 leading uh, the 96 and 7th, the 93 and 8th, and the 40 and 10th. We're on the top 10. That's, yeah, definitely a mechanical right. failure for DaCosta. We will see what it is in a second. Yeah, let's see. I don't think he's even going to make it to pit road. Looks like we've got a uh, green flag pit, st er, pit stops going on right now. Ethan Conroy is out in the lead. <laughs> so it we will see it. what is up with that 46 car in a second. There's no way he's going to roll. He is not. I, he, he did not roll. He uh, definitely towed it back. Yeah. What is what does he have a mechanical failure of? It just stopped. Is he gonna stay in the race? No, he's in the pits. Oh, ran out of fuel. He had no fuel pressure. Why is Conroy coming down pit road? He stayed out last lap. Very odd choice from the thirty nine crew. That's gonna that's gonna drop him right to the back of the field behind all the damaged cars. I don't know what they were thinking there. Very interesting strategy choice by the 39 team. Never know. And by interesting, I mean terrible. Oh, goodness gracious. There's oh, those uh, two lap cars. Oh, it looks like the 40 did the same thing. Huh. Huh. I would never do that in the... That's interesting. It, very interesting strategy choice going on with the AI uh, here. I th I think I wanted to perform what Conroy did. Just wanted to do what Conroy did. That may be helpful? Probably not. Okay. Unless they think those extra that extra lap or two will be enough for them to make it to the end without pitting. That might be what they're going for here. And... Green flag, small we, ha is we have a lot of damaged cars at the front here. This is going to be very interesting. <clears throat> got the Don't three, we got the 14. 37 and 23, obviously. Yeah, 37 is... Wow. 37 is incredibly off pace. It's, and he's going to cause a wreck. He might. It's Blocking up the second. 68, 97, and 98 right now. Smallwood and Dolmet pulling way ahead in the lead right now. Um, so uh, let's see where the strategy call has put these two guys. They're stuck behind damaged cars, as I expected. Not sure what they were thinking there. They might work together. Uh, 17, know. please don't get stuck behind the 23. And he got stuck behind the 23. The 97's kind of catching up. Mm, could be worse, I guess. Just get around him. 
I mean, I mean, you could be whoa. one of those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's the people who stayed out pitting. The 96 stay out? What were they thinking by not pitting? I think they probably did. That's a three on pit road, 28, 96, 84. But Tyler Grimes is taking the lead. Ray Colorado second, Matt Baines third, Bailey Bennett fourth. That shuffles up the pack a little bit. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting strategy choices by the AI going on here. So where is the thirty nine? The thirty nine and forty have ended up not too bad, honestly. Could have been a lot worse. And this this pack is single file right now. As Why a Ray Colorado. Still looking for his first win. Hmm. Twelve still wants Colorado. to know where he is. Huh, 74 has kept, his, kept himself in the top 10 despite his damage. Yep. These the guys are coming back onto the track after pitting. They're most likely a lap down. Oh, yeah, they are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's that uh, some mean. dangerous rejoins. Jesus Christ, guys. I mean, at least they didn't cause any wrecks. Yet. Exactly. And oh, never mind. Looks like the 39 might have gotten hit somewhere. Dang. The 14 still on pace. Oh, that is definitely that is definitely a 84. 84. Driving like an the 40 idiot. and the 40 as well. He. Wow. There was nothing the 39 or the 40 could do. Bunch of dumb driving going on right now. And the 40 will now be leading that pack. Can I try to catch up to that lead pack? Ray Colorado still leading. Your top playoff driver is uh, Sam Dolmet in ninth. Hmm. Uh-oh, that's lap cars up ahead. Who is it? Oh, they're Smallwood and Dolmet, so they're actually on pace. They just pit. Yeah, on pace cars. Unlike the off pace cars, we gotta be worried about those cars. Yeah. So does the thirty nine have the thirty nine does not appear to have gotten any damage from that incident with the eighty four. Just drops him way back in the pack. He's worked his way past the nine and the twenty seven. That is a catastrophic incident for the uh, thirty nine crew right there, though. And he's on Barry. pace. He's on pace for right around a top twenty finish, which is just about what he does every single race. So, I mean, you know, I can't wow. be too disappointed so far. I think he's had one finish outside the top thirty this season, hmm. and he's leading the points with like two top tens. That back pass. Whoa. So right now, your leader is Joshua Siegfried once again. Uh, John Hunter going to take John it, though. <sighs> These guys don't seem, seem to be much of a concern at the moment. Question is, can the 20, 39... Yeah, 39 is carving his way through the field, which is what happens when you have an undamaged car against a bunch of damaged cars. And I think the hope is for some of those people who are in that backpack is... For the lap cars to block that front pack up a little bit so they can catch up. Yeah, maybe. Although I think they're quite far back. As Logan Morris takes the lead, could he be the first playoff driver to actually score a win in the playoffs? Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's not showing me live chat for some reason. I've got to check it really quick. Um. Bailey, you are like third. Uh, Mandy is out. And there will be a massive penalty incoming because of what caused her to be out. The, uh... The 71 absolutely destroyed her under caution. And that's one way to retire after you retired before the green flag. Yep. There's that big pack back there. Uh, I don't even know what 39's working his way to the front of it. 
I don't even know what he was thinking. Yeah, I don't know either. To get back on track. That's going to be like a... I'd say 50 points is a fair penalty for that. That's a lot of points still. That is a lot of points, but he did take out a playoff driver with an incredibly dangerous move. So I'd say it's somewhat justified. Yes. As uh, Dwayne Greaves going to take the lead here, and he does. Actually, he's still fighting with Dilmat for it, but I think he's going to come out on top. And these these guys have really not been an issue at all. They're actually right on pace. They're working been, together, too. Yeah, they've been working together a little bit. Smart strategy from those guys. So the where is the 39 is. now? Where is the 39? He's I, with the 40. He is working with the 40. Looks like their strategy may have actually worked out. Although they're still running can, P18 and P19 at the moment, so... Uh, but can they be the leaders after everyone pits? Will they still be in front? Quest, the, I mean, question. we don't know if that's what they were thinking. You know? It might, may, might just be stupid strategy. They will, certainly be in, they will certainly be in the lead if these guys pit and they don't. But we don't know if that's going to happen. You never know. That extra lap could have actually helped them. Yeah. One extra lap for... Uh, ac actually, no. It's one, one extra lap for both. As uh, Greaves retakes the lead, these two are pulling quite ahead of the pack here. If they work together, they could that. pull away. But uh, they're and not going to. you might not want to do that because that field, that pack back there will catch up in a heartbeat. Yeah, that, that pack will swallow you up. Yeah, these and guys are going... First to like... These guys are going to get caught, but they're not actually going to cause any issues for the pack. I think they're just going to go right into it. Mostly. They might actually work with the pack. Yeah, I think they will. Although the 37 will not. Yeah, I think they're just going to kind of slip onto the outside line here. Uh, all things considered, that's a pretty good outcome. The 28 that. and the 96 could also be battling for the free pass position. Yeah, this dude is literally 10 seconds off the pace almost. And then the 23 isn't much further ahead once again. So where has Conroy worked himself up to? He's P18. I don't know if he can catch these guys. It looks like he is, though. These guys were running 55s and 56s last lap. And this pack was running 55s and 56s. So no, they're not catching them. Unless a caution comes out, or most people pit, that would be a very good... Oh, we, yeah, we've definitely reached the 37. Holding up the 96 here, the 8, the 1, 93, 96 in particular. This is AWR car, that 37 is held up. <laughs> I mean, the 37's also held up their own teammate multiple times, so. It's, it's just stupid driving more than it is anything else. And so that's going to thin out this pack real good. Yeah, that's going to be very unfortunate because... 40 got... Actually, 40 was never in it. Never mind. Yeah, we were... That pack will be catching them up soon. Oh, 23's... 23's going to act as a pick as well. Here comes the 22. He's as it's smart. a two-car race right now. It's between... How are they doing that? I don't know. I think they just got around the those guys better than the rest. If they can work together, they can pull away. Because this pack is too disjointed to actually form any coherent attempt to catch up to anybody. Question is, will they need to pit? That is a big question. That's a very big question. And will the 39 and 40 still have to pit? Yeah, that is also a very big question. Because no matter, even if they do, the 96 and that 28 will not be in the lead still. I think they'll just get their lap back. And Looks like the uh, 26 is going to be a factor as well with lap traffic. Maybe. Oh, looks like the 74 is just pit. 2 is pitting. 22 is pitting. Oh, looks green like, flag pit stops now. I don't think that extra lap is going to help. I don't think it is either. And, uh... 
Unless they did something absolutely crazy. Although, are, are those guys on a different strategy than the other ones? Because I know they were quite far back in the pack, so... They might have been on different pit strategies due to damage and such. No, 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 no gas, no tires. Looks like Joshua Siegfried is taking the... Nope, they're on the same pit strategy as the uh, 98 and 41 pull into pit, as is the 26, 68s pulling in. Where's the 39? 39's pulling in as well. So yeah, I, it was just was... it was just a dumb move. I'd expect the uh, seven. Hold on, that that move actually could work out for the twenty-eight and uh, twenty-eight and uh, ninety-six. Those guys that stayed out that pit right at the start of the session, the the run might actually work. I don't know. As they split the gap between the two perfectly. Nice job, guys. You know how to pace, or you know how to get around lap cars. As the 33 comes in to pit this lap, as does the 36, here comes the 7. Ryan, 3, I think, tried to come in. 48's coming in. 1 is coming in. 97 coming in. 56 40's coming in. 14 coming out. in. 23 coming in. 40 is still staying out. I don't think. I think he's probably going to come in with the rest of them this time, though. Oh, Siegfried did not pit. It looks like he got held up by somebody. My only partner right now is Merch. So, the 17 is leading at the moment. I don't need to pit, too. I think he might be coming to pit road. I think the 17 is likely going to come into pit road this time. Huh. And he is? Yes, he is. I expect the rest of the cars to be coming as well. The, the 95 is coming in. 85 is coming in. 40 is coming in. 40 is coming in. 93 is coming in. It might... Well, late pitting might actually help in their, go in their favor, though. If it means they can put less fuel... In, in the car and spend less time on pit road. It might work out. What is the 37 doing? Seems like the 39's teamed up with the 2 and uh, 28. Let's see if they can make anything work here. I've got like 6 to go here and I don't even know what's going on. Oh, I know. Uh, looks like 17's off pit road. Where is he going to rejoin? Oh, 04 is off pit road. Where are the leaders? Is that your leader in the 8? Or the 12? Who's the leader at the moment? Looks like Dwayne Greaves is still listed as the leader. Are there any up-to-speed cars in front of them, though? It doesn't look like it. Is the... Oh, oh 96, 96 84, 96, 84, and three come to pit road as well. Looks like it was not a smart strategy call by them either. Looks like the uh, pit strategy in this game is just dumb. NR two thousand three one hundred one is uh, I think Dwayne Greaves might be the leader right now. Didn't they say the forty was in second? Hold on, uh, uh, they haven't come around to update it yet. I think the 17 is leading right now. That's very surprising. S 17 is still leading. Is he about to win this race? Sam Dolmet is second. Here is the pack. The pack is so far back. I think Dwayne Greaves is going to win this race. I think Dwayne Greaves is going to win this race on pit strategy. Hmm. Very interesting. Indeed. The question is, is he going fast enough to keep the rest of the pack ahead of him? And can he keep the 36 behind him? I don't know. Might be a two-car battle for the win. Because those guys seem too far back. 
Unless a wreck happens. If a wreck happens, we'll likely end under caution. Noah Bridges worked his way up to 13th. Where has the 39 ended up? His Looks like his... Where is the 48 as well? No, 48 is 14th. The 39 has ended up 21st. The AWR card had such a good race, and then pet strategy messed the AWR Looks like it's going to be a two-car battle for the win here. Two of your playoff drivers, Sam Dolmet and Dwayne Greaves. Unless these guys can catch up, but I don't think they can. They're too far back. Very interesting race, all in all. Can Dwayne Greaves pull it off? Can Sam Dolmet pull it off? Who's going to win this race? And yeah, if these guys are drafting together whatsoever, isn't there, they, these guys are not going to catch them. Ooh. Conroy has worked his... Uh, no, he's, he's 19th now. He's working his way through the pack again. Conroy is working his way through the pack again. Will, lap traffic absolutely will not be a factor in this. This is going to be a great finish. Is there any other chat? Nope. No chat messages. Or at least nothing important. As Dwayne Greaves has retaken the lead. Harry Dolmet is going to act as a buffer between these guys and the pack. Uh, the pack might just be close enough. They went 55s that time around. These guys were 56s. Two laps to go. I don't think it's going to be enough. I think it's going to be between these two guys for the win. Sam Dolmet and Dwayne Greaves. Uh, there's, there's, oh, there's the 37. I don't think the if they catch him, they'll probably just go around him. Lap traffic may play a factor once again. Let me yeah, right. unless they, uh, maybe. He is so off pace that he actually might. Man, if you wanted to see, if we wanted to speak about a Rick Ware racing car, we would have brought one in here, but geez. Ah, he's damaged, so it's understandable. Yeah, that's why, that was a joke. Oh, this pack is really close. White flag is out for Sam Dolmet. This is probably going to be the best finish of the year. You've got the pack. You got these two. You got the 37. <laughs> 17 trying to take the lead once again. 37 will almost certainly be a factor in this one. I think the pack is too far back, though. This will decide it. Will... Yeah. Dwayne Greaves gets around Alpha Woodrow. Sam Dolmet gets around Alpha Woodrow. Dwayne Greaves holds the lead. Ooh. Ooh. Alpha Woodrow is holding up these guys in the back of the pack. 12 falls back. 95 falls back. 98 falls back. Coming out of the final I corner. I think this is the final corner. Dwayne Greaves, Dwayne Greaves wins! Win <laughs> Dwayne Greaves wins at Tennessee! Wow! Your second multi-time winner in series history. Are they still racing? I think we're done. I think we're done. Yeah, we're, we're done. We're done. Wow! What a finish. It, it, and I think... Ethan Conroy brings home little, 20th place. If the pack was a little more together, it would have been a more interesting finish. But still, it was a pretty good finish. Where did Noah Bridger take? Noah Bridger took 12th. Very unfortunate day for him. But good day for him since he didn't DNF this time. Um, Logan Morris ended up taking third. Huge finish for that 91 team. Did they just wreck coming onto pit road? <laughs> Guys! The race is over. Well, some some uh some people uh, mad at each other. <laughs> nah, I think it's just stupid AI. <laughs> I don't know that's what I'm doing. All right, so uh, your playoff drivers, 
Dwayne Greaves wins it. Sam Dolmet second. Logan Morris third. Abel Aguilar eighth. Norbridger twelfth. Eli Mack fifteenth. Brian Rich nineteenth. Ethan Conroy twentieth. Ricky Lafleur twenty fourth. Apollo Lee twenty sixth. Taco Smith twenty seventh. Luis Ramirez thirty fourth. Manny Winall, 39th. Reed Martaz, 40th. Julian Strickland, 41st. And Anthony LaCourie, 42nd. Yep. Uh, Bailey, if you want to see what happened to the uh, 14, or the 5, just... Uh... Just uh, watch this. Huge penalty incoming for the 71 for this move, by the way. The 14 and the 1 missed that wreck, too, which was very... So did the very... 17. So did the 17. There were several cars. Like, the OIWR cars as well could have been taken out. And that was on lap... That was on three? lap 3. Under caution. Wow. If you're already, like, that many laps down and, you know, we're already de we had a mechanical DNF, you should have just stayed on pit road. I mean, your day was done. But it also wasn't, but still. Not a good move for the 71. So it's a 50-point penalty and three-race suspension for uh, Anthony LaQuarrie. Whoa. Yeah, that's uh that's unfortunate. But all in all, that was a very interesting race, would you say so if I would say so myself. Yeah, definitely a very interesting race. Less than a tenth of a second separating your top two. Top ten were less than two and a half apart. If the pack was together a little more, it would be... It's still awesome, but if the pack was a little more together, it'd be perfect. Yeah. It was still a very good race, though. One of the best of the season. Great finish, too. Yeah. Last lap like pass. Like Ben Joltis. Yep. Ben Joltis was the last lap pass, I believe. I think it was. So was uh, Homestead. Last corner pass at Homestead, actually. <clears throat> AWR got a good top, got some good top twenties. Yep. Besides Nick, who didn't finish in the top twenty. Yeah, he was he was close though. Where was Nick? He oh, was Nick, he, Nick was twenty nine. Pit for some random reason. I don't know what they were doing. The pit strategy in this race was a bit uh, questionable at best. Everyone besides one person had a mechanical DNF for all those people who had a DNF. So uh, I think that is going to be it for this race. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next race.